Hey guys, everyone's discussing social security right now. I've got the solution that nobody wants to talk about. It is the only way forward. Stay tuned as we talk about social security, the problems with it from the beginning, and the only way out of this mess. Before we get into the solutions, we've got to talk about the current predicament and the problems that we're in and clear up a couple myths along the way as well. Let's start with those. Number one, and really the biggest issue right now, the money that you contribute to social security is not the money that gets paid out to you when you retire. This is a huge mistake in thinking right now. This is where a lot of Americans are at in their understanding of social security, but it is flat out wrong. When the government steals my income every month, it sends that money immediately out to a social security recipient. That money does not get sent over to like a 401k version of government savings, which accumulates interest over the years and then gets returned back to me. Not the case at all. Like I said, when I have my money taken from me every month through my paycheck, the government takes that money and immediately writes a check to somebody else that is currently on the dole for social security. In theory, then when I retire, I would be getting money from someone that is currently working and having their money stolen from them instead and getting it redistributed back to me. This is what makes social security the largest Ponzi scheme in the history of the world. It is not your money that gets sent back to you. It is someone else's money that simply gets swirled around. Money leaves their checking account and makes its way into my checking account. And the system only works when there are more workers than there are retirees. And that is what leads us to the problem right now. Social security will become illiquid in the next decade. And that's a generous estimate. If nothing changed, social security will run out of money by 2034. And there are two options getting discussed right now. Number one is not politically feasible at all. They're talking about cutting back on what gets paid out. If you want to be a politician that serves one term, you're going to present the idea that we should pay people less on retirement already on a fixed income in order to stretch out how long Social Security is viable. It's also a terrible idea because it doesn't solve the problem. It only exacerbates the kicking of the can down the road. They are acknowledging then that we are running out of money. So why don't we just delay running out of money so that maybe someone will vote for me another time? So don't count on that happening. What they can do is raise taxes though. And this seems like the more politically survivable option that is getting discussed. Nobody likes having their taxes raised, but when half this nation doesn't pay federal income tax anyways, and when a lot of people that do pay federal income tax vote Democrat as it is, politicians can then take the chance to say, we are gonna slightly raise your taxes so that we can again, kick the can down the road and make social security last a little bit longer because maybe when I'm done with two or three terms, I can retire and then it'll be someone else's problem to deal with. Neither of these options is gonna work because again, it doesn't solve the problem. You can cut back on spending, you can increase taxes, but at the end of the day, you have the same problem. You have more retirees and you have people paying into the system. And again, rough numbers here, when social security was created, you had a ratio of like 40 to one workers to retirees. This is sustainable. Right now, we're looking at a ratio of like four to one or three to one, and that number is getting worse and worse as more people in the boomer generation retire and fewer people enter the workforce, and on top of that, earn less money than the retiring boomers. In other words, you now have less people working and less money coming in due to the lower salaries of people just starting off. So what can you do? Again, here's where we're at. Social security is running out of money and there are no good solutions to fix the system. And that's where I come in. This lone voice on YouTube that just needs to talk common sense for just a little bit. The only solution out of this is to end social security. You can use whatever verb you like. Sunset, eliminate, abolish, end. Go look up a thesaurus and you tell me another word that you would like to use. But at the end of the day, it is the same thing. Social security simply has to go. And you might be asking yourself right now or yelling at the screen, but Todd, what about the people that paid into the system? Let me go back to how I started this video. When you pay into the system, that money is already gone. Your money is not there. Your money got sent out to somebody else. But then you might be yelling at the screen, why can't the government just issue me a check for the amount that I paid in in the first place? I mean, good luck with that. Simply put, social security and FICA tax and income tax and all the other taxes are immoral to begin with. At some point, we just have to cut bait and start over. Some people are going to incur losses, but like I said, the money that got taxed already, it's not there. It never was there. And so we just have to accept that it is gone. When my income tax goes to the government, I would love to get all my income tax that I've ever paid into the government back. That's not going to happen. Social security, we've just got to accept that it is the same thing. Any dollar the government has ever stolen from you is gone. It is spent. It is now a debt for your children and your grandchildren. We need to cut our losses. We just need to move ahead, get rid of social security, and fix the problem starting over from day one. So what this means is we need to set an arbitrary number in which people older than that age can continue to collect social security for the rest of their life, and anyone under that age I'm sorry, you are on your own. You need to save for yourself or rely on family and community. That's the only way out of this mess. Social security needs to end tomorrow and anyone over a certain age can plan on collecting and anyone under that age can plan on not collecting. Simple as that.
If you are, let's say 50, let's just make 50 the age. That gives you 10, 15 good working years left. Traditionally, those are the years that you make the most money. These are not ideal situations because again, it is not your fault. It is entirely the government's fault. But at the same time, I will say this. If you voted for big government or you voted for any politician that never addressed social security, you kind of own this as well. I'm not putting all the blame on you, but I am putting some of the blame on you. This is a problem we have foreseen for decades. People have been talking about it, but most people simply aren't paying attention to it. So let's use my magic number of 50. If you are 50 years old as of a certain date, congratulations, you qualify for Social Security for the rest of your life. But now you're asking, Todd, what about the money that's not there? How will we pay that out? So here's the deal. There is always money. Have you seen what is getting sent to Ukraine? If you are under 50, you have a golden opportunity because in practice with this, along with abolishing Social Security, we are now ending FICA taxes that fund Social Security. That money that you are no longer having stolen from you by the government can go into your own retirement accounts if you choose to plan for retirement. If you not plan for your own retirement, that is on you now, and that's as it should be. We should not be reliant on the government to meet any of our needs. We have seen that they do not care about our safety. We have seen they do not care about our border. We have seen they do not care about American citizens. They are sending much more money to illegal immigrants right now than just American citizens. Vets, homeless, the elderly. So they already don't care about you. You should already not be relying on them. We need to get away from our dependents anyways from the state. When the state makes you reliant on them, they own you. They control you. If they don't like what you're saying on social media, I'm looking at me right now. If there were social security, I can plan on me not getting it because the state would simply say, this guy is a threat to the regime, cut him off. So there goes my retirement check anyways. Financial freedom means freedom from the state. It means you get to control your own life. Plan for your retirement, set up your own 401ks, invest in any asset class that you want, take care of your own life, get away from dependence on the state. Can't stress this enough. So there it is, folks. In a nutshell, let's recap this a little bit. Right now, two options are getting discussed decreasing the payouts, increasing taxes. I don't like any of these options because at the end of the day, it doesn't solve the problem. But more importantly, it makes you poor. If you have less money coming in each month on a social security check, that's no good. And if they raise taxes, I really have to say it that that's not good either. So the only option moving forward is to end social security. Set an arbitrary age where anyone older than that gets to plan on retirement through social security for the rest of their life. Anyone younger than that age, sorry, but you need to plan on your own retirement. Anyways, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you appreciated this video, you appreciated my thoughts, give us a like, give us a subscription. We are on our way to monetizing this YouTube channel way faster than we thought we would. We appreciate your support along the way.